Good evening, everybody. Crypto Strang here. This evening, we're talk about another ZK roll-up project coming out. Similar to what we spoke about ZK Sync, the era, the 2.0 on the last video. There's quite a few coming out at the moment. There's already quite a lot of competition out there. Now it's going to get really fierce with these real high-quality projects coming out. Now, I mentioned this brief on the Telegram group the other day. Please join below. There is a link. If you want to come and join us on Telegram for a chat. Anyway, I was talking about Starknet token. The last sort of day or so, I've been really looking more in depth into this trying to find out as much information as I can. Lucky so many different websites out there find necessary information, as well as like Reddit and Discord as well. But starting their token is literally on the launch stage at the moment. They're just going to have the main net very soon. But I really like what they're doing here. Now, there's no guarantee, like I said on the ZK Sync, um, but I'm very hopeful if we do some basic jobs, use their test net, the start net, wallets, using their ecosystem, there's a chance we could get an airdrop, similar to Arbitrum, Optimism, etc. Okay, and that's what we're hoping for. So I've been using their system literally today. I'm going to do a lot more over the next couple of days, and hopefully I'll get that reward at the end of some airdrops, okay? But eventually when the actual Startnet token, STRK, comes out, again, I think that could be very good to be an early adopter. It's never financial advice, it's never entirely up to you what you do, but when you go on their website, startnet.io, Gives a lot of information. Startnet is a secure scaling technology bringing Ethereum's benefits to the world. Now, there's a lot of these layer twos that can roll up building on Ethereum for the scalability to make it better, cheaper, obviously, more energy efficient. It states there what is Startnet? It says it's a decentralized layer two network that enables Ethereum to scale securely and dApps to achieve unlimited scale for transactions and computation. How does Startnet scale Ethereum? It uses math and cryptography to securely scale Ethereum. Operates a validity roll up or ZK roll up as we know it, it bundles many transactions and rolls them to Ethereum as a single transaction. Now, following their token, you can see there the Etherscan of the Startnet token STRK. Now, you can see here there's been a lot of movement, but it's all from the same wallet. Okay, you can see here it's all from the same wallet, it's been a lot of movement. You can see the tokens are being moved at the moment, but say it's all from the same token. Obviously, the token isn't out there yet. Now, the max total supply, according to Etherscan, will be 10 billion. There's 297 holders at the moment. Okay, now, again, when you've got such a massive supply, it was going to be a massive max total supply, you'd imagine, unless you're just wishful thinking, but I don't know, you could get a really good airdrop. Now, I'm not going to say we're going to make thousands and thousands, thousands like some people do with Arctrum Optimism, but I think it's a very good chance. So only time will tell if we do actually reach that. But I say with such a massive supply, you'd expect an airdrop. Okay, now, social media, you can see there are 5,648 tweets already. They're approaching 200,000 followers. Now, they're followed by ZigZag Exchange. We spoke about them yesterday, the ZK Sync, so hopefully the start net will be on ZigZag as well. Caduce, we talked about that recently, that wonderful low-cap gem I spoke about recently. But I like the fact here about they talk about the pinned tweet. You know, it states there, start now for net pro upgrade approved by a significant majority, a testament of the power of community collaboration. So they're working with the community when they rolling out the test net and subsequently the main net but it really is great to see they're listening to community members they're getting the feedback they're interacting with everyone because again a bit like zk sync they need people to use the test net and eventually use the main net to show up the bug to show the issues and that's what they solely want the more people use it the more it'll highlight bugs and issues and that's what you want to resolve before the main net is fully live out there so it's great to see on twitter them so active it truly is so i really suggest you to follow them now their medium page as well Talks about the Startnet Alpha and talks about the transition to Cairo 1.0 begins the mainnet. You can see there it's live on the test net, soon on the mainnet. That's great as we want to see. Computation on Startnet is five times cheaper. For the first time, the mainnet upgrade to Startnet Alpha V.11 will be put to a governance vote. Okay, now we'll talk more in depth about the Cairo 1.0 smart contracts. I just think we're in a really good place now, this project. Again, there's a lot coming out this year. And Daniel said it's really interesting to see all these projects, real high quality coming out, like they're preparing for the next ball run. They're expecting, you know, to be so much need. Now, obviously, we've already got a lot of high quality layer twos scaling on Ethereum. You know, I must do a video about Matic again soon, Polygon, because they've really taken massive strides soon. So that's really good to see. Now, also, their site, startnet.io, and again, it goes more in depth about what they're doing. But also, like the fact that start building a developer documentation. I really do like that bit. The developer tutorials, tools and resources. Use Startnet. Okay, find a wallet, etc. We'll show that in a minute. Now, the next bit I found absolutely fascinating. It was on Starkware.co. They've actually got two websites. Again, the links will be below. And you can see who are we? Develop start based solutions for the blockchain industry. Our products facilitate secure, trustless, and scalable 
blockchain applications. Now, talks about the products. Okay, now the absolute incredible bit of this there is we are hiring. We're looking for talented individuals, career page. The team is absolutely massive. Like you can't believe. Just scrolling down here, look at all the different people involved with this project. It is huge. I don't think I've ever seen a project on launch in a testnet coming up to a mainnet stage have such a big team. This is absolutely massive. Just look at the size of this team. Okay, they have literally got everyone you could possibly imagine working on this. It is huge. So again, that gives you a lot of, a lot of hope and potential here what you're actually going to become. Now, obviously what we want to do is use their test net. We want to show that we can do it. Hopefully we'll get that airdrop. Okay, now you have to go through various stages, similar to what ZK Sync was, but slightly different. Now, the first thing you can do, again, the link will be below, is go on argent.xyz and get the first wallet on Starknet. Okay, now... Obviously, I'm using Google Chrome here. Download Argent X. You can do it with Mozilla Firefox. Okay, so you just basically download that. It's very straightforward. Instantly there. Now, what I tend to do is that people don't know. You download it, okay, and then it basically goes on uh, basically a Chrome extension up here. So you can see up here I've got it, Argent. So basically what you do is here, you hit the extensions. Now, all you have to do is download it on the Chrome and then just pin it. And it automatically appears up here. So now I've got my Argent wallet. Once you've downloaded, got that, you have to create a password. Very straightforward. And then, okay, now we can sort of link the MetaMask wallet, okay, with the Argent wallet, etc. And then we can start on there. So I've actually got it here. You can see there where up the top right here, I've connected my MetaMask wallet now. And I showed this on the previous video. I've done a dedicated video before on MetaMask. Once you've used MetaMask a few times, it's very straightforward. However, for the first time, it does take a while to get used to. So please don't hesitate to reach out or please refer to my previous video. Now, also, you can see I've connected the StartNet mainnet wallet as well. But I'm using a different one there called Bravos. Now, this is another one where you can see here, Bravo Smart Wallet. You can see there, obviously, I've already done it. So removed from Chrome, obviously, I'm not going to do that. So it's already downloaded. And again, it's up here. If you see it up here. I've got it out there already. Okay, so I've downloaded the two wallets. Now, again, the links are below. So once you've got these two wallets together, you can see there. Now, you can see at the moment I've got 0.04 Ethereum. I'll just quickly show you how easy it is to do. So, say with a massive community, who knows if you can have minimum usage to get the airdrop, how much you've got to do, or literally anyone who does any transaction, you'll get an airdrop. We don't know. But I say with a 10 billion supply, I'm very hopeful. But I don't think you have to do huge amounts. Again, you've got to do research and to see if you want to invest. But I'm just going to do like 0 0.01, okay? Now you can see there, it's going from Ethereum to Startnet. Obviously, I've connected. You can see there my MetaMask. You can see here I've got my Bravos wallet. Now, with the Bravos wallet, when you download it and put that extension there on your Chrome, right at the top there, on that one, again, you have to create a password. You also need a seed phrase. And again, please keep that safe because there's no, no customer support. If you lose that, you lose your wallet, okay? So it's very important. So I've got the both wallets there. Now, basically, just transfer. You can see the MetaMask confirmations going through with the metamask there once you've downloaded those two it's quite quick this you can see there just confirm you know as people know me i'm not a ethereum fan by any stretch because they're gas fees however obviously with these layer twos you've got to use the ethereum at this stage you can see there the transfer in progress and it transferring 0.01 eth to start net okay again this shows me doing it transaction sent now when you go and view on ether scan or start scan i've done that on the previous transaction i did you can see there it's gone through it's, Exactly what it's gone through there, which is great to see. And also on the start scan. See there, exactly what I did earlier. So again, that's great to see. So get those two wallets, your Argent X as well as your Bravos. Now, not to be accused with Bravo, you know, what we used to have with um, basic attention token. This is purely Bravos, a new wallet I've never used before. Okay, so we've done that. Now, similar to ZK Sync, we've got to show that we're using it. Okay, now. Again, this took a lot of time to research this. Then I come across a site I've shown in a minute. It was actually quite straightforward. But again, like ZK Sync, ZK Sync, shall I say, you've got the Mint Square. Explore, collect, and sell NFTs. So what I'm going to do, you can see there on the screen, the Stark Guardian. So I will get myself an NFT like I did with ZK Sync. But you can see here also at the top here, I'm using the Stark Net there. Okay, now if you scroll down, like I showed on the last video, ZK Sync era, you also got the test net, but I'm just literally going to use the start net. That's the one to use for this. Again, you'll see that I'm using the start net to get me NFT. Okay, again, I hope that'll give me that airdrop. Now, also another one is Alpha Road, testnet.app.alpharoad.fi. Again, that's another one the start net are using. But then I come across this site, which really helps. It's actually alchemy.com, would you believe? They spoke about the start net ecosystem in more in depth than the actual site. 
you can see all the different they're showing 69 people associated with it now what's fascinating was going by coinbase now everyone knows layer twos now are polygon arch ultra and optimism okay but you can see here they're looking at startnet now not say okay sync on there but startnet so even the project's not got its whole main out there look at all these sites already embracing startnet to take on in the future coinbase ventures startnet binance.us all these different sites as you scroll down absolutely fascinating to see i think people have understood potential here and a lot of people will be getting on it obviously what happened but people done very well in arbitrum and optimism so people want to naturally jump on it but also what i found fascinating was all the different exchanges now when the actual token finally gets out there if we get their drop where it goes on exchanges would it be like aptos and all going exchanges at once who knows but they're already sort of tied up with mexe bithum gemini crypto.com okx bitstamp okay buy bit gate so it's really positive to see that once start is out there we could really get on some exchanges very quickly again so getting in early could be hugely rewarding that's what i'm thinking as well you just scroll down and say there's a lot of projects already interested and involved with startnet this is absolutely fascinating i was amazed I actually found on alchemy.com there's so much here so much fascinating companies are involved with it really isn't it the list goes on and on and on as you can see absolutely amazing now another one is jedi swap or xyz you can see there jedi swap is a startnet mainnet which is currently in alpha stage there will be a network upgrade by startware in the next month as outlined here so you can click a link things can break on startnet mainnet and you might lose funds in extreme scenarios so again you've got to do your own research now i'm using the main startnet site but obviously if i want to get a chance to get more airdrop i want to start using all the ones on the testnet so i will be get some more ethereum moving about on some of these exchanges I think it's good but again going back to the startnet ecosystem hundreds of dApps, services and wallets you can see here all the different parts there's a lot of information here okay now i like the fact that it's embracing so many different companies and jumping on board behind the scenes this must be giving a lot of buzz the fact that so many companies are already on their ecosystem you can see down the side here with the bridges the dow DeFi, the game the governance as well as the infrastructure but again you look at their ecosystem here absolutely massive it truly is okay now it's fascinating to see so i spoke there about jedi swap but what i need to do is perhaps get on all of these and have a look if i can use these of all which ones exactly are the testnet ones and i can start using it okay and that's what i want to do got their layer swap stark x see lots of them i want to start using mes protocol now i know that was doing zk sync again i need to look in that see if i can get some Starknet on there so again there's a lot of work to be done it's not a lot of work once you've joined up you know, started moving some Ethereum around using their wallets, using their ex different exchanges. You're probably talking what one, two hours work. It could be very rewarding. So me personally, it's worth doing. Now another site, MySwap.xyz. Again, got to connect a wallet, Bravos or Argent X. Okay, and that's another one that I've got to action to show that I'm using it. Okay, so so I've got quite a bit more work to do. I'll probably do it tonight or first thing tomorrow. I just want to move out. See who's ZK Sync because at the moment I'm following. I'm looking into so many different projects. One similar to ZK Sync, as well as Startnet. So okay, it's not just about these two, but there's more that I'm finding as well. So I want to do a lot of this, and obviously it's a lot of to keep track of as well, isn't it? So it's certainly going to be fascinating year ahead. Now another thing I found absolutely incredible: Startnet.id, all in one identity service on Startnet. So basically, what you do is you can claim your Startnet identity, you get your Startnet passport. And you can register your own domain. Now, we've seen this before about registering domains, but you can have your own. So I could have CryptoStrain.Stark. Build your identity. They already integrated us on these. You can see here, Mint Square, we spoke about Bravo, Start Scan. But there's some other ones there, okay? Now, again, I need to look into those as well. But I like the roadmap. You can see there, ENS Bridge Affiliation System, okay? More features in the Phase 3, Maturation. So that's something else that they're doing. They're bringing out Startnet.id, so you can have your own domain. Now... But I might do that. I think I, I think that'd be fascinating to see again how this develops. I think it's great to have your own domain, all your identity in one place. So it really is fascinating. So basically, you just get them two wallets, link them up, move some Ethereum, go on these different decentralized exchanges. You've got great potential here. But as usual, as I always say, if you don't want to help, just email me info at .com, all my social media links below. Come and join us on Telegram, as I say. I've got my personal Telegram link below. Follow me on Instagram, I've got my Facebook group, <laughs> you know. Just reach out any way you can. It'd be great to come and have a chat with us on Telegram. So have a wonderful weekend. It's certainly a fascinating time, as I keep saying in crypto, and especially these huge potential airdrops. There's no guarantee, as I say, but with such huge projects, I'm very, very hopeful. So 
We will chat again soon. As I say, have a wonderful weekend. Cheers now. Bye.